I hate getting on camera because I don't have to look at my face. It's like my face is the only thing to look at. And it makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I swear. Hi, Periscope. You guys are on Pokemon? Yo, can somebody explain Pokemon Go to me? Like, what's good about it? Is it fun? Come to Tampa. What up, nigga? What's up, bro? Die that shit white. I'm going to. I'm trying to hurry. Please, nobody steal my fucking idea before I get it done. You got your girl in FLA? Yeah, I got this shit at um, USA Mark. Yeah, man, it's fun. What, what's fun? It, yo, before we go into anything else, what's fun about Pokemon Go? Do you guys get to, like, battle? You can get robbed? What? That shit sound crazy. It's ass. Wait, y'all giving me mixed opinions. Where the cats at? Oh, y'all want to see the cats? Hold on. Where the cats at? Hold on. They go. They go under here type shit. They on the seat. You on the seat? Right Where? Oh. Both right there. They, over they both right here. They go one of them right here. His name. His name. Jaw. This jaw. Yeah. And this is Koda. This little nigga be scratching shit. And then I'm about to go get a pet. I'm about to get a pet boy. These from my girl. And that's my boo. With the slip knot tee on. <laughs> oh shit, your wife? Yeah, that's my wife. That's wifey. Your life is great. No, my, my life... My life is not great. My life is my life is real. I don't want to say my life is great because my life is not great. I am not. I am not. And I am not. I'm still a human. I, I, I'm still a human. I'm still a normal person. I still have have qualities about myself that I would like to change. I still am normal. So don't think, because I don't ever. I'm always going to. I'm always going to remind you guys that I, that my life is not great. My my, I mean, I am fortunate. Yes, I am. I'm grateful for everything, but my life is not great because I am still who I am, and I'm still human, and I want to remind that so I don't ever lose touch of you guys, you know? I don't want to make you guys feel like, hey, I'm not going through what you guys are going through because I made, I made this music, and I made this fan base, and I made everything that I possibly can so we can feel like a family and so we can feel rel relative or related, you know? So I, I don't at all want you guys to think like, yo, I'm not still on the same shit you guys are on. And I don't at all want you guys to feel disconnected from me. Because then what would be the point of me saying that I want this to be a family and not just music? This would be me being hypocritical. And to everyone that I have not responded to as of late, it's just been because I've been stressed because I'm trying to get this tape done and I'm trying to make this shit fire. But on the bright side, I am going to drop two music videos for everybody that's on here. For my real fans that are on here, I'm gonna drop two music videos. I'm gonna drop a music video to Rest in Peace Roach, and then I'm gonna drop a um, music video to Look At Me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm your role model. Thank you. I appreciate that, brother. Um. All right, so here's what I wanna do. I wanna do this because this is what I want. I want one fan. I want you like, I want like for my diehard fans, like a nigga, if you're just here because you fuck with my shit, then just don't listen to it. But, um,. I want like diehard fans because I actually stumbled across a fan that was saying some real shit to me earlier because I actually I took out a, a bit of anger out on him because he had a, um he had, he made a fan page and I just didn't want him to like just fuck up like my image or whatever but he he was explaining to me that basically he's gonna support no matter what and he was saying that um basically he basically he was just saying that like like the music is bringing people together and that that the fact that my ideals that I'm putting on other people are bringing people closer and making them not feel alone and that now people find nothing wrong with being alone so if if you guys would like to make fan pages like make a bunch of fan pages if any of you know how to make a wikipedia page please do that like this is what I'm going to start doing I'm going to start like like if I'm doing music and shit, I want, like, different fans to, like, like help me out here and there. Like, so say, for instance, like, if you guys want me on Worldstar, harass Worldstar, you feel me? Well, I already got the link to Worldstar, but I just mean, like, say, for instance, you want me on Hot New Hip Hop, harass Hot New Hip Hop. If you want me on, on YouTube, put more YouTube videos, you get me? If you want me on Wikipedia, help me out, you feel me? We we are a family, and if you guys need me, contact me. If I can help, I will. If I can't help, then don't get mad at me. You know, I'm only one person. So... My task for you guys, make a fuckload of fan pages, bro. Make a fuckload of fan pages. I want you to troll every fucking body. Make, 
let's make our family the strongest family there is. Like, nigga, if, if, nigga, if everybody else is alpha, then let's be Charlie. Let's be Delta. You feel me? If, if, let's have our own squad. Let's make our, my, let's make our fan base our own fucking squad, our own gang. You feel me? Our own big united family. So, what I want you guys to do is, like, nigga, like, Make like a fuckload of fan, like make a fuckload of fan pages. Um, drop a, try and drop a Wikipedia if it's possible. If any of you can do that, that would be awesome. And then if you guys gotta hit me up about the finalizing it or anything of that sort, I have no problem. Um, anything along anything along those lines is just what I need help with right now. Otherwise, I'm taking care of the world star. That's gonna be straight. I'm gonna drop the music videos. I'm gonna drop the tape. Everything's gonna be fire. And like everything, like I'm telling you, like. If any of you have actually like listened to, like listen listen to my old shit like bro this shit is going to be fire cuz like I'm going back to like my old sound and I'm going to still have like the whole versatility to it I'm going to still have like have like the hard shit and the softer shit and I'm going to do like the R&B the rock everything What's under my eye it's numb it says numb cuz I was going through a time in my life where I felt like I couldn't feel shit You want to keep going on tour? Yeah we are going on tour. We're going to go on tour. Somebody said pussy. Thank you. I get lots of it. You have an idea of when you're dropping it? October 31st. I'm dropping it on Halloween. And just so that, just so you guys get the theme, I'm actually changing the um the mixtape cover due to to a disagreement I had about the the cover. I'm changing it to like a picture of the Adams family because that's that's the uh, the 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 girl Wednesday the daughter I I'm actually gonna tie that into a lot of my music because I feel like I resemble that person a lot even though she's a female but I still I, I resemble her as far as like she said um. Cause they they're gonna ask they ask what's it? Cause I'm gonna go I'm gonna go trick or treating with a bunch of fans. This is this is my actually my plan when I drop it on October 31st. Uh, somebody's gonna ask me obviously what am I? And then in the movie she says I'm a homicidal maniac. They look just like everybody else. So yeah, nigga I'm gonna say that like on on Halloween like on some crazy shit and just like make a whole concept to it. I'm, gonna do, I'm just gonna do some crazy shit. How old am I? I don't have an age. I'm 300. <laughs> Well, give you an idea for the hair, because everything is everything is uh, is a balance. Everything will come down to karma. Everything will come down to the balance. So, it, ideally, like I said, it's supposed to be white. It's not supposed to be blonde. But um, yeah, nigga, like, like basically, it's just about me, like staying intact with my karma, because everything will come back to karma. So, the most important thing in your life will be your karma. It will be whether you are aware of what's going on around you, whether you. You feel like if you're a bad person, bro, you'll know you're a bad person. You understand me? If you're a good person, you'll know you're a good person. It's it, it it's, it's self-explanatory. We all know. And, oh shit, one K. Hey, yeah, <laughs> keep that shit one K like who that? No, but nigga, yeah, that karma catch up to a nigga, just like Fonny said, man. Karma catch up to a nigga. But on real, like, no, nah, like, my hair is just a reminder of telling me to to fucking relax. Basically, it's a it's a reminder of me telling myself that yo, you you are human and that you are not a god. You are still on the planet Earth. And that you need to remind yourself that karma is a real thing. And whatever you give out, you will get back. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean, understand this, understand this. And this is to all my fans and all my friends and my family. All of you are my family. Understand this. That does not mean do not misbehave. Because you can misbehave when you, when you feel so. When you, when you feel, when you feel like spasm. When you feel like punching a nigga dead in his shit. When you feel like, even if you want to stab a nigga. Even if you want to shoot a nigga. I'm not telling you go out there and do it. But if you find, if you find the reason, if you can find the reason behind it. And you find the reason behind being crazy. And you feel like it's deemed necessary. You let that shit out. Just like he said. Sh shouts out to Slot, nigga. Just like you said, let that shit out. Bro, don't hold that shit in. Nobody is deserving of, of inside insanity. If the world's making you crazy then just fuck the world fuck anybody that doesn't understand you fuck anybody that doesn't want to bend to your needs or, or what you deem necessary fuck them if they don't if they're not with the ride then it's fuck them and if you know nigga, nigga it's not it's not hate life nigga make life your bitch that's how i see it nigga make everything in life your bitch and if and if it's not accordingly then how are we living how are you living if, it, if if your life is not... Nigga, you're in control. Just like I'm in control of my life and everybody and everybody supports me, I want to teach everybody to do what the fuck I'm doing. And if I'm not doing that, then I'm a fake bitch. If I'm not teaching people how to make money, if I'm not teaching people how to love themselves, if I'm not teaching people how to do everything they want to do with their life, then who the fuck am I? I'm not your... I'm, if I'm not teaching you how to do better with your life, I'm not your brother or your friend. I'm a fuck, nigga. So, understand this. Karma. Spiritual awareness, anything along, uh, anything along those lines. Everybody learn that shit. So look it up. Start, start studying, man. Start studying karma. Start off with karma. I'll give you tips here and there. Obviously, I can't say it on the, on the camera and shit, but I'll give you tips here and there. But niggas, pay attention to what you're doing in your life, cause your life is right in front of you. Everything you need is right in front of you. Even if you broke, 
Even if you broke, dead broke, it's because you're supposed to be like that. And everything, the people who struggle the most or get it the hardest will succeed in the end. I promise you, you will not have the hardest life forever. Everything will come to you. What you deserve will come to you. And if I end up getting shot and killed for what the fuck I'm doing, or if I end up getting my ass beat at some point in time, or, or nigga, if shit get hard on me, it's because I deserve it. That's point blank, period. Everybody will get a death. Everybody will get a death that is deserving. Everybody will get a life that is deserving. Everybody, you will get what the fuck you deserve. Karma, point blank, period. And with that being said, let's ask me some questions, man. I'm, I'm answer some questions and then I'm gonna get back to what the fuck I was doing. Your music makes me want to fight a random nigga and his shit. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. Xyki, a real philosopher. No, I mean the world says I'm stupid. Uh, fans and fans in YouTube comments say I'm stupid and that, that I'm an idiot. So hey, hey, whatever, whatever. I'm whatever you think I am. Are you gonna get more face tats? I'm, my girlfriend doesn't want me to. I'm trying to, I'm trying to lay off it, but hey, I might, I just might. You feel me? I got the bad vibes on my eyelids. Hey, <laughs> I wanted to get a forehead tat, but she not fucking with that. Ski tape gonna drop. Um, I don't know when he. I don't, I don't. I think he. I mean, he dropped. Um. His other EP, I don't know if he was planning to do another one. I just been so caught up with my shit, like I haven't, I haven't seen. But I, I mean, I can ask him. Drop top minivan. Yeah, I just seen the video. He snapped on that shit. He snapped on that shit. Let's do a show in San Diego. Hey, and when I'm in San Diego, talk to me, buddy. I remember when I was in this Periscope months ago. <laughs> can you make a tape with two phones? Of course, nigga. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all who I got on the tape. See, I, I love you guys because you guys give me something to talk about. All right, um. I'm going to have Rob Banks. I'm going to talk to Puya. Um, I'm trying to get Abra. Um, I'm getting Ethereal. I'm getting two, Teen Suicide. Um, Nicole Dollenganger. Obviously Ski. Um, Craig Zen. Um, I'm going to try and get The Fray. I really want to try and get The Fray. Um, who else? I mean, all my all my young niggas, like all my like like trunks and shit. Yeah, I'm put like I'm putting all my I'm putting all my niggas on it. Like niggas, I'm, I've been quiet. You feel me? But yeah, Suicide Boys, Suicide Boys are gonna be on it. Suicide Boys, uh, um, Wi-Fi. I'm not sure. Fat Nick, no, I, I wasn't planning to get him. Yachty, uh, I mean, no, I'm not sure. I, I was supposed to, but we haven't talked. Get Crime Wave. I'm not sure who that is. Why don't me and Ski do meet in Greece? No, um, see the thing is. Nigga, I'm not gonna charge nobody to meet me. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not gonna charge anybody to have a conversation with me. Uh, that's not that's not my way, bro. So even if they tried to like, even if they tried to like put that in there, nigga, nah, y'all can walk up to me, bitch. If I'm on the stage and I'm on the corner of the stage and you wanna talk to me, talk to me, man. If you wanna say something to me when I'm leaving, bro, I am a human, bro. You have every you you guys have vaginas or dick and uh, or dick and balls, nigga. I have a dick and balls. We bleed the same fucking color. Alright, bro, I'm black, some of you are black, some of you are white, nigga, we are the same fucking species, nigga, I'm a human, y'all can talk to me, fuck the bullshit, if y'all wanna talk to me, talk to me, who are you not fucking with, uh, I mean, I don't got no beef with nobody, I literally don't have any beef with anybody, nobody isn't, nobody isn't important enough to take my attention off of me, unless, unless it's my family, the only person I'm ever gonna beef with is my family, fuck SGP, it's not even, no, honestly, it's not even, not even, not even, bro. I, I wish the best on everybody. Because me, me putting, negative uh, putting negative attention on anybody else is not me focusing on what I'm doing. So am I friends with, with these niggas? No, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to be friends with these niggas. But is it fuck them? No, because anything I put out is what I get back, correct? So if I go if I go beat a nigga ass and I don't got the right reason behind it, or if I'm hating on a nigga and, I, and I'm saying fuck shit to a nigga and I don't got no reason behind it, I'm a hater, and I don't want to be that. I don't want. I don't want to. I, I want to practice what I preach. I want to get everything that I give out. So I'm not trying to. No, nah, I'm not gonna hit on niggas. I'm not gonna say nothing to, to the next nigga. Fuck that. Can you make shit with divine counsel? I was actually gonna try. Yeah, yeah. Cause we we fuck with each other. We know who each other are. We like. I, I, bro. Yeah. We we gonna do it. I'm gonna probably put him on the tape. I'm gonna try that. Where can you get your goals from? Go to USA Mart. Um, you can go to the Flea on Oakland by by a lot of the lakes. It's right there on Oakland. By um by a lot of the late middle, um there's there's a USA Mart in, in Miami, um and that's, there's only a few places I know about right now. When's the deadline for the tape? October thirty first. You ever drink snake blood before? Hell no. That sounds interesting. How much your grills cost? Like three hundred. This shit's not this shit's not special. Actually, I got a neck tack because of you. <laughs> 
I'm glad. I'm glad you got. I'm glad it, I motivated you to get a necktie. Get Dash and Earl on the tape. Me and Dash about to do a show. Me and Dash about to do a show. You gonna see? You gonna see the? You gonna see the flyer? That's my dog, dude. Shout out, man. Free racks, man. Ever been to Kendall? Yeah, I've been all over Miami. Just besides like deep, deep, deep Miami, but I've been I've been pretty much all over Miami. Rex is free. Oh, they free one. Oh, they free the nigga Rex. Hey, man, shouts out to him. But bless to the Blackout Boys, man. That nigga, that fucking um, Dash, show me nothing but love, man. I appreciate Dash, man. That's a that's a cool nigga, bro. You, them, them some real niggas. Most niggas from the NY, bro. Them some them some real niggas, bro. Inner inner lip tat because of you. <laughs> what you got on your inner lip? ASAP, Greg. What you got on your inner lip? Let me know what you got. Tell me what's up. How much for a feature? Twelve hundred. I charge twelve hundred. Fuck with Rad Boys. Never heard of them. NYC, what do you think about the shootings that have happened? Uh, shootings where? Elaborate. Are you talking about like the the whole um, Black Lives Matter movement? In, in Dallas? I'm confused. You guys are talking about there was a, there was a shooting in Dallas. Are you talking about the the cops? You talking about the cops that got killed? Hey, Will, where the cops got killed at? All right, if we're talking about the police, the the police officer situation in Dallas, I will be. You guys, you can hate me for this if you want. You can say what the fuck you want. Everybody can say what the fuck they want. Murder is murder. Fuck your color. Fuck your beliefs. Fuck everything you. Fuck everything you stand for. Murder is murder. Six men were murdered. There was no justification in that. There was no, there was nothing okay about that. Six men were murdered. Those kids, those people probably have kids or a wife or someone that they want to go home to. You don't know if they were racist fucking assholes. You don't know that. So what? How is that? How is somebody coming to you, killing you, and not and not giving a fuck about your life, and then you going and killing them, justifying anything? You don't fight fire with fire. If you want to stop the fucking violence, bitch, go get some water. Go get some fucking water and put the fire out. How the fuck are you going to try and pin color or anything with murder? Murder is murder. If I go kill a nigga right now, I'll go kill one of my kind. I'll go kill a black I'll go kill a black person right now. And it's still murder. Murder is murder. If I if you kill a white man, it is murder. If you kill a black man, it is murder. If you kill an Asian man, it is murder. If you kill a woman, it is murder. It does not matter what the fuck you are. If you kill a dog, it's murder. You kill a lizard, it's fucking murder. Murder is murder, period. Fuck what everybody else is talking about. And if, if, look, this is where Malcolm X fucked up. This is where Malcolm X fucked up. And this is where a lot of people fuck up with the whole black right, the black civil rights movement. You can't preach peace and bring violence. You can't say, you can't say silent protests, then go kill a couple officers. You can't say you want peace and then promote murder. That's why I don't lie and say, hey, hey, I'm all about peace. I don't say I'm about karma. I'm about the balance in between because I know I'm, I'm a violent. I have a violent nature. I have. I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, man, I want I want to be a fucking Buddhist because I know I'm not capable of it. I am. I, well, I'm capable, I'm, but not as of right now. I'm not going to be a fake fuck and conform to what everybody else is doing. Do I believe people are wrong for murdering black people? Because yes, it is true that people are doing it. And they shot that guy in the car while it, while his wife was fucking recording. It's, it happens. I've been harassed by, by, by police officers before. I've been harassed. I've, it's happened to me. It's, it's, a, it's a true thing. Yes, it does happen. But killing somebody else that had nothing to do with these current situations does not justify anything. Like you said, fuck two-faced niggas. And that's that. That's my opinion on that. I don't want to speak any more on it. If you went on, on Ebro. Hey, man, tell you. Say, hey, hey, any any interviews you guys want me to do? Like, it may not be visual because I'm, I, I fucking hate cameras. Like, I hate being on Periscope too, but it may not be visual. But it, if it's, it, like, if there's anyone, like, that I fuck with and that I know of, like I did No Jumper because I fuck with Adam. Shouts out to Adam. I'm also putting Adam from No Jumper on my mixtape. Yeah, that probably that probably sounds crazy, but I'm doing that. But yeah, nigga, <laughs> yeah. If they if they if they, cause what I do is I peep the interview. I peep like I peep the interviews. Like I've seen like interviewers actually genuinely like try and fuck with the artist. Like try and like like ask him certain questions that he doesn't want to be asked or say like petty shit. Like just do petty shit. You feel me? And like and that's that's not my way, bro. Like I don't want to get cause like 
I, I am who I am. Like, if a nigga tries me, bro, it's like, fuck the industry shit. Like, I'm going to fade you while you're interviewing me if you if you come out of pocket, you know? So, like, point blank, period, bro. Like, if, if, if I see that they're, they're, they're fuck boys, like, I can't do it. How many songs on the tape? I'm going for like like fifteen, like fifteen, maybe maybe twelve. I'm I'm going I'm trying to go hard. <laughs> that back that Breakfast Club be pulling that shit. They do. That, see, that's I just didn't want to show no shit. I didn't want to throw no shade. I wasn't trying to say no names, but hey man, hey man, truth. You tell me the truth. Hey bro, be safe out here, real talk. Thank you, I appreciate you. What's your beef with DJ Academics? Any nigga that any nigga that gets clout or or wants attention off of humiliating hum, uh, humiliating people or promoting foolishness needs to suck a dick because that's what he's doing. He's just sucking half of the dick. He's not putting the whole dick in his mouth. Literally, that's that's how I look at it. If, nigga, if you gonna like if somebody gonna suck my dick, put the whole thing in there, bro. Try, try and take the whole thing. Don't try don't try and half ass nobody. Like what that nigga does is what the nigga DJ Academics does is he talks shit on the internet. But has anybody ever seen like a single video or picture of this nigga? I have not. I haven't heard anything about this nigga going outside. He probably doesn't go outside. He probably doesn't. He probably feels so unsafe going outside that somebody's gonna murk his puss ass. That, yeah. But it's all. It's all good. It's, it's straight. And then, like I said, I'm not gonna focus my attention on the next nigga. It's Gucci. Yo, you know I was JK when I said fuck twelve. It is fuck twelve. It's fuck twelve if they if they horrible officers. If they if they if they <laughs> you get me. It is fuck twelve if they. Hmm? You said he was just kidding. Who? That person? That person, yeah, but it still is fuck 12. Yo, X, where is the clothing? The clo um as far as the shipments, alright. There's a few orders for there's a few orders for jackets and shorts. If you if you order jackets or shorts, the only reason it's taking long is because I have someone that handles the shipping from LA. We ship from LA. We don't ship from where I ship. So like, whenever anything goes down, it does not go through me. It's a second guy. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not at all in the equation. The money only comes back to me, and I only send the money out to pay for the product, so it comes back and it gets shipped. So the problem is with the shipping right now is that the person that ships it is sick. He has like a strep throat or whatever is going on. He's he's just not at all feeling well. So literally, as soon as the boy gets back on the ball. Everything will be sent. Where you get the clothing at? Like I said, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm just a middleman. Where's Young Benz? He he cool. He cool, man. He's he's still in ATL, man. You fuck with FTP? Yeah, I fuck with I fuck with that movement. He he's he's innovative as fuck. He he he's very innovative. I think I think that guy get, should get a reward for that shit. He's innovative because like I was he was the first nigga I seen go like like shoot a scene on on, on Pornhub. They getting like. Like, fuck a bitch on Pornhub to promote his clothing. Like, that's crazy, bro. Like, that's innovative, bro. No matter how, how vulgar it is, it's so innovative. There's a website that sells jackets that say members only. That's, bro, they're, they're, they're the original. The members only name came from the clothing brand members only. I, initially, it was my um, it was my goal to actually be sponsored. I was trying to get sponsored initially. So that's actually why, like, why you, I had used the name. When you come to Dallas. I'm coming to Dallas very soon. Don't worry. Favorite rapper right now? Um, just me and Ski. Just me and Ski. And, and I fuck with Uzi. Like, I listen to Uzi. Like, if there's anybody I listen to, it's me, Ski, and Uzi. Like, anybody else? Not really. I can't, I can't, I won't lie and say I listen to. Oh, yeah, Kodak. Yeah, I do listen to Kodak. I listen. All right, here. Here's what I'll do. I'll shout some niggas out. Here's who I listen to. If you go through, you guys can also go through my likes to listen to my, my, my selection. I'm not gonna name rap artists. I'm gonna name all artists. Um, Slipknot, The Fray, Three Days Grace, Papa Roach, um, Lil Uzi, myself, Ski Mask, um, Craig Zen, um, Larry League, shouts out to Larry League, Kevin Pilari, um, Rari, The Weeknd, um, who else? Who else we listen to? FKA Twigs. That's who, that's who, that, well, that's what my girl listens to. I don't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, they ask who we listen to, so I'm just telling them who the fuck we listen to. So my dick. What is your relationship? Oh, yeah, and also Teen Suicide and Nicole Dollinger. What is your relationship with the music of Teen Suicide? My relation. Um, I'm going to tell, babe, I'm going to tell the story that includes a, a female, but it's like, it's like not relevant. So basically, how I came up, how I, how I, how I got heavily inspired by Teen Suicide is because it was like, there was a moment where like, every artist will hit a moment where you can't find inspiration. That's where you get your writer's block and you just, you're fucked for a little bit. 
every artist will hit that point. I hit that point when I was in high school, when I had first started because like, I was just like, stress was all around me. And basically like, there was this like, there was this, a singing girl like I used to fuck with that used to go to the school with me. And like, I like, I my music taste at that time was still like, it was still fire, but it was like, it wasn't as very underground, it was very mainstream. So she showed me Teen Suicide and the first song she showed me was Salvia Plath. And I like, after I heard Salvia Plath, it was, that's what inspired my whole like non high quality sound. That's what inspired my distortion sound. That's that's what really showed me it's not about how fucking quality it is. It's, it's well not necessarily qual. It's it's about the quality, but not necessarily the the high res quality. You get what I mean? It's really about the music. If the music can be fucking fire, you can be seeing some real shit. And if the quality's not there, who's gonna give a fuck? If it's good music and it has a flow, it's it's gonna prosper, bro. That's why I've never like I've never paid to go to a studio, bro. We don't do that. We don't we record at home. Hey man, I found you today and I fuck with you. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. What do you think about going to college or university? If you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be anything that requires school, you go to school. Take yourself to school. If you need anything, if it requires school, take yourself to school. I do not shun school. I will not say fuck school. If I ever get ignorant and playing around and shit, I'll say it. But nigga, like, some people need school. I'm not about telling kids to drop out of school because if you want to be... Look, my my plan A and my plan B is this. Look, when I when I came up, when I, like, when I, when I grew up, my main things were this. I either wanted to be a UFC fighter, I wanted to be a football player, or I wanted to be a rapper. Those are the only three things that apply to me. None of those require school. None of them. None of them require school. None of them. So that's why I dropped out. That's because I knew what my dreams were. I didn't let the world manipulate what I wanted to do and, and make me procrastinate. Because what, what the system is built to do, it's pretty, much made, it's pretty much made to make you procrastinate and then make everybody turn on you for not making the general decision and, and making your own decisions. So the problem is, growing up in your mom's house, your mom is obviously going to want you to go to school. She's obviously going to want you to maintain what she has built, has, has built for you and will want you to do these things because it is illegal to go not to go to school at a certain age. So... You have to for a certain amount of time, but when you know what you want to do, there's really there's everything else that gets in the way is just procrastination. So I don't want to tell you guys don't go to school, but I don't want to tell you guys to go to school. The choice is yours. Whatever you want to make your life is what you make it. But there is the quick route, and there is the hard route, the long route. I took the long route, and that's how I made it. That's why I have not. That's why everything has come genuinely because after I went through my my whole time of finessing and trying to like and robbing niggas and, and doing crazy shit like. Like, what happened? I ended up in jail. I ended up in jail for like a year, nigga. I was, I was bam, like I was gone. So, came back and uh, I realized what I had to do. X replied to DMs today. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to FaceTime fans today. So, everybody, everybody right now, well, after, after I get off this, send me your FaceTimes. Send them to, to my DMs or at me them. At me, at, pre preferably at me them so I can see them immediately. But DM or at or go on some damn niggas leaving to do that shit. Yo, niggas leaving to do that shit. <laughs> Yo, y'all fast. Y'all fast as fuck. Um, any other questions? Niggas still trapping when they have a good home. Yeah, I don't I don't understand. I mean, I, I do understand it, cause that money that money come in, man. Don't don't do the drugs, supply them. Um, what are your thoughts on Indian trap rappers on SoundCloud? <laughs> If you, it doesn't matter if you Indian nigga, you're a trap rapper. If you're a trap rapper, you're a trap rapper. Just don't rap it if you're not doing it. If you're rapping it to create a persona, then hey, whatever, man. If you're rapping about it, but don't say you bought it if you're not about it. Will you ever come to Minnesota? I'm, I'm gonna travel all over the U.S., even to the to the racist states. I'm going, I'm going to everybody's state, shouting out how 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 much of a proud nigger I am. I'm gonna scream the rock music, <laughs> the white culture music. <laughs> You gonna come to MN on your tour? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Just might. Do you smoke green? I do smoke green. Yes. How tall are you? I'm like five seven, five seven, five eight. I'm not tall. How long you and Ski knew each other, nigga? I know Ski since I was like, like fifteen, like fifteen. I got locked when I was like fifteen. You do shrooms? Hell yeah. Hell the fuck yeah. Broward shows? No time soon. <laughs> 